Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Torians. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your Motivational Monday reading. If you haven't had a chance to watch Sunday's video, please do. The questions, every Sunday we have questions. It may be still Sunday where you are, but the video is dated the 21st of May through the 21st of June. So uh, that is preparing you for the upcoming test in the first quarter moon in Virgo. So... Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Taurus. Let us do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. I'm talking to you if you have um talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart. Looks like this is your year, Taurus. You know, this is your year to find your tribe, to find your people, to find your community. And with that, there's a lot of creativity in that. This is the will of the year. So source is saying to you, manifest this. Like find your you find your group. Like find your and so source is saying somebody is very, very creative. And the, all of this water right here is creativity. But somebody has been using their creativity to lament over something using your emotions. So let me know that somebody's sacral chakra is out of alignment. So we have the five of cups, the ten of cups, we have the princess of cups. We also have the ace of cups and also the knight of cups. So for somebody, it's new love coming into your life, but it's also helping you to build your community as well. I think I mentioned this in your uh, in your Sunday reading, is that you want to get real clear about exactly what you want to attract and not entertain anything but that. A person can look exactly how you want them to look. They can look better than anybody you've ever seen before, but if they don't fit into... If they don't fit into your, if they're not a good fit for your universe, it's going to be a disaster, no matter who they are, no matter how nice they are, no matter what. After a while, they're going to start nitpicking with you. You're going to start nitpicking with them. Again, it's just going to be a disaster. So we're going to get some questions out of the way that's going to help you to attract exactly what you want. Some I am, um, I am the energy I desire to attract, but I'm going to give you some very specific words that you can use, Taurus, that's going to really, really help you to attract the soul tribe, the person you want, all of that, right? So that you're not lamenting over something from the past. This is your year. Speak it into existence. This is my year to find my person. This is my year to find my soul tribe. Like this is my year. This is my year. Say it, say it, speak it into existence. Like say it, <laughs> just kidding. But no, seriously, say it, <laughs> say it, speak it into existence. Speak it in. Again, I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, right? All right, we're currently in the waxing crescent moon phase. Here we have the sun card. We also have the wheel of fortune again. We also have the ace of wands. We have the hierophant card, which is your card. We have the queen of wands. And then we also have the ten of swords. So somebody is definitely in this state right here going through a rebirth. But on this card, source is saying to you, you can either stay in this position for the rest of the year this person hurt me. They said something about me. I deserve an apology. You know, they misunderstood me. I was the black sheep of the family. Or you can say, guess what? This is my year. This is 10 and this is 10. Both me instant manifestation. Are you instantly manifesting this? Or are you instantly manifesting this? Maybe I need to give somebody a visual to get them, get some fire up under somebody. But for real, it's time to say, this is my year. I'm speaking that into existence. Let me get myself back on my throne and remain happy, charismatic, and free. You know, I don't need to stay in my mind with some stuff that happened in the past. You know, I need to get in my sunlight. I need to look at it from somebody has an innate spiritual understanding of some things. Like whenever I'm outside of my sunlight, I feel like I'm in the wilderness. So... Learn how to speak some things into example and come up to things like come bring your raise your frequency. This is your card right here. Wheel of Fortune came out twice. Source is trying to make somebody very wealthy in every area of your life. So I'm gonna help you with that. So get your pen and paper out because I'm gonna help you with this. Everybody that tunes into my channel, even if you're just cruising on by. No matter who you are, if you're tuned into this channel, I'm trying to help you to raise your frequency so that the things that you are desiring, high frequency stuff, not low frequency stuff, those things will come to you a lot sooner. Here we have a lot of quicker. Here we have the Ace of Wands. So I do see somebody, um, somebody's third eye is definitely wide open. Like God has somebody's attention because it has to be when you're in this position right here, it gets draining after a while. And it seems like time is just passing you by right? It's like, you know, year after year after year, just I'm tired of depression. I'm tired of this happening. I'm tired of not meeting the right person. I'm tired of being betrayed. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, right? So stop being tired. Get up and say, okay, I need to try something different if I want something different, right? And that's what I see you doing. 
So let's get into it. Here are your questions. Here are your questions. This is a Monday motivational reading. Get you prepared for this week. So you'd be by the time you get to that first quarter moon phase, like, okay, let's do it. I, I got the answers I needed. The answers are in the reading. The questions I gave you on Sun in uh, the, the video dated the 21st of May through the 21st of June. So here we go. Things that you're trying to manifest, these are in your chakras, trying to get your chakras in alignment. First of all, the statement is, I am the energy I desire to attract. Write that down. So you want to underline, double underline, I am, because we're talking about the great I am that resides in, inside of you. The most high God, the great I am that resides inside of you. I am the energy I desire to attract. So energy, you can write all of these words under energy. Um, you can write for your, your root chakra, it, which is the connected to the element of earth, and you are an earth sign. I am the stability, vitality, loyalty, prosperity, patience, tenacity, and also career success I desire to attract, right? For your sacral chakra, which is connected to the element of water, your emotions and intimacy, um, I am the joy, the creativity, the adaptability, the sensuality, the fertility, the emotional range and sexuality I desire to attract. Your, your, um, your solar plexus chakra, which deals with the main focus is power and identity. I am the power, the confidence, the charisma, the strong will, the motivation, the leadership and mental clarity I desire to attract, right? For your heart chakra, um, the main focus is love and connection. I am the love, the trust, the healing, the gratitude, compassion, connection, forgiveness I desire to attract. The um, throat chakra, um, which deals with expression, you know, self-expression and life purpose. I am the truth. I am the purpose, the expression, the artistry, the service, the synchronicity, the communication I desire to attract. For your third eye slash your brow chakra, I am, this is where you're trying to connect with your higher self. I am the vision. I am the intuition, the dreams, the insight, the perception, the, the uh, psychic abilities that I desire to attract. And then for your, uh, your um, crown chakra, which deals with oneness with the divine, I am the unity, wisdom, awareness, intelligence, understanding miracles and bless bliss excuse me that i desire to attract okay hopefully that's going to help somebody to like you know really get your week started out right it may already be monday in some parts of the world but it is still sunday in other parts so sources like adjustments are required some adjustments are required you literally can have everything you want everything that you want the the wealth the love of your life, your soul tribe, all of that. You can have all the things that you want. You just have to know exactly what to speak into existence. But more importantly, you have to be that energy um, to attract that energy. So start your abundance planning. Like I said before, this is your year, Taurus. This is your year. Do not say, I'm not going into it. Don't, even, don't say I, I'm not. But you. I'm just saying you are not going into another year with a broken heart, broken bank account, a broken anything, you're speaking into existence exactly what you want because you are the energy that you're attracting, right? So if you got any, this is a, this is a, we need to, God, we need to talk. <laughs> let the, let the planet Pluto, which is in retrograde until October 10th, clear out any childhood, family, ancestral traumas, right? Be, this is where you're going to really have to go in deep and, not focus on this person who stabbed me in the back, this person who tried to hurt me, this person. This is where you get an opportunity to start the process of wiping that slate clean. Pluto went retrograde May 1st, and it'll be retrograde until October 10th. This is a time to clean it out. This is some serious deep cleaning that a lot of people, so the people on your job who may seem like, you know, they out of sorts or whatever, they going through the same thing. Everybody's going through the same thing. You're going to recognize that some family members won't be coming around anymore because for them, it's too, it's that deep. It's like, mm -mm. it's time for me to go live my best life. I can't come back around certain family members anymore. Certain friendships may go out the window because you, you're cleaning up space. You're like, there's certain exes you're saying, you know what, I'm not going backwards because it's too painful for me to even think about going backwards. Some friendships, it's like, you know what, 
God, thank you for allowing it to happen. I know you got something better for me that, that's more aligned when I say better for me, not that they, they, somebody else knew is better than they are. But I, I know that you have something that's in alignment with my purpose here on earth. Number seven, I am brilliant. Your per, you, you possess a very refined mind, Taurus, and a deep urge to uncover life's mystery. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the information and spirit, informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. That number seven is very powerful. That is God's way of like getting you, you know, connected. It's like God's way of bridging the gap from the known to the unknown, the seen to the unseen, the the dark, the light. God is bridging the gap. So it's not like it's third party information. God is making it make sense for you. It's like somebody for this because it's like a, a a bell that went off in somebody's head. Like, oh my God. When I really think about the types of energies I attracted in the past, it was I was attracting people on my same frequency. No matter what they look like on the inside, they were some of their some of their traumas mirrored mine. So I need to get to healing so I can attract healed energies as well, right? And so don't worry about who's healed faster than somebody else. Source is saying to you, somebody is very creative. And you're gonna that creativity is gonna cause, like I said, this is gonna be somebody's year. Start your abundance planning right now. I'm happy for you. Start your abundance planning for real. Like if you got Taurus anywhere in your chart, I'm stomping and cheering and clapping for the Taurus in my chart. <laughs> in my birth chart, I'm telling you. This is like somebody is somebody is very, very creative. So get this water and flush out any toxins. And then also this moon is we have remember we had a um we had a uh new moon. I'm sorry, we had a full moon in Scorpio, but it was the same day as the lunar eclipse. Right. So that lunar eclipse is also helping you to go back through your childhood, ancestral, and family line and say, okay. Let me see what in that line threw my threw me out of alignment here on earth. Right? What what threw me out of alignment here? That when we have that the we had the solar eclipse first and then we had the lunar eclipse after that. So it's just like trying to help everybody to get things in alignment. So this is a perfect time for you all to be more gentle with yourselves and also the people around you because again, even if you thought you knew everything about people, they could be dealing with nightmares, all kinds of stuff that's cop popping up in their spirit. And they may not be ready to talk about stuff because for them, they may not even understand what's happening. But for you, you're in the know. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.